Our Dogecoin, a blockchain born out of memes and creativity, is now hosting the classic 90s first-person shooter game Doom after a developer inscribed the DN into the network. Using the Dogecoin Ordinals protocol, also called Dogenels, a pseudonymous developer called Mini Doge, an X inscribed Doom on the Dogecoin blockchain. With this, anyone can play the classic game on their computers or mobile phones by accessing the inscription link. Doom was first released in 1993 and became one of the most popular games at the time. Uh, according to Mini Doge, the free version of Doom was inscribed into the Dogecoin network to celebrate the game's 30th anniversary. The game inside the blockchain contains nine game levels that can be published without running into legal issues. And after its inception on Bitcoin, the Ordinals Protocol made its way into the Litecoin network after an anonymous Twitter user with the username Indigo Nakamoto offered $500 worth of LTC to anyone who can bring the Ordinals Protocol into Litecoin. After this, Doge enthusiast Doge Labs followed suit, enabling the protocol to be deployed on Dogecoin. And because of this, users can inscribe images, videos, and audio into the two blockchains. On May 18th, the Dogecoin network reached a new 24-hour transaction record of 1.2 million transactions driven by the arrival of the Ordinals Protocol in the Doge blockchain. Uh, Shives, it's officially decided by the one and only at NoPro Daily, it's Dogenals on DRC20, uh, hashtag Cardinals. It's been a nice few days with you uh, to be Fresno. Uh, the personal additional system has not left on the developers, which I said, I said most of the complicated in conversations, uh, most of it were uh, the portfolio tracker, uh, Minge Alerts, deployed an emulator, uh, for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System on a Satoshi. As the team announced the inscription, NinjaLert CEO Trevor Owens cited a study showing that 90% of classic video games were endangered. The executive also argued that Bitcoin was the best place to preserve games that were cultural digital artifacts for future generations.